what we're trying to do is build ways that people can measure brain activity and really understand what's going on inside a person. We're, we're getting to the point where we have interactions between brains and computers. So we believe that we're going to be able to predict when you're frustrated, when you're um, unhappy, uh, when your performance is degrading. Imagine if the lights were too bright and you got migraines and suddenly it could dim the lights for you, things like that. We tried to highlight that in our paper where we talk about it has educational benefits, it has medical benefits, um, we have training, and of course our own personal group, uh, we do performance, so we try to get you to work better in, in your work environment. I think our goal is not to envision what will happen, just envision that it could happen and then get the technology out there for people to make it happen. The one thing about the IEEE Access that's really kind of novel is the ability to lay out an entire program of research and show the whole scope of what you're trying to do. Most journal articles are very, very limited to one particular topic area. Um, in this particular case, we were able to lay out goals that were application oriented and science goals in the same article, and I thought that was a very cool opportunity. With today's technology, it's really critical um, to get your research out because things change so quickly. So we want to we want to have the cutting edge, of course. Um, in order to have the cutting edge, when things change rapidly, you got to get it out there quickly. What seems to be very nice about uh, some of the open access journals that we're seeing now is they're really trying to get the timetable to publish uh, to be very short. So we're hoping uh, to do open access publishing in such a way that we can get things out in a matter of months as opposed to a matter of years. What I'm noticing nowadays is really interesting. I'm getting emails from all over the world. Uh, previously, I, I tend to only get emails uh, from people that were in an academic institution. That's absolutely critical. If we don't have people having access, then we're not going to be understood in what we're doing, then we're not going to build collaborations, and we're not going to make better products. We really want to make what we're doing accessible to everyone. So in that case, people that don't have access to traditional uh, libraries, uh, that would never be able to see our articles, now they can do a Google search, they can find what we're doing, they can read about uh, the technologies. In a lot of the journals, it's uh, really easy nowadays to publish and uh, IEEE Open Access was, was similar in that way. That there's a place, you go to their website, there's a place where you click on and it says, for author, please submit an article here. So you basically get some email confirmation and very rapidly they actually give you a response. When I say very rapidly, a couple weeks. So uh, that was pretty cool. From the reviews that we got in, in our uh, journal, it seemed to have a very high quality review process. Um, interesting, it's a, both a mix of science and engineering, so that was good for us because our work is both science and engineering. But it seemed to be very high quality process, very high quality reviewers. If uh, people were considering publishing um, in open access, I'd strongly recommend it. I, from my perspective, everything uh, we do in the future, we will try to do open access. We want the world to see what we do. And I encourage all the colleagues to do the same.